With its rich heritage and fascinating museums, there's nowhere more sophisticated than Paris. But tonight, we're not going there. This is no ordinary travel show, but the world's weirdest day trip. We've packed a suitcase with 10,000 pounds in euros and sent two plucky people to spend it. I feel like we're about to get ambushed. It's a lot of fox shit, isn't it? <laughs> Comedian Joe Wilkinson and Countdown presenter Rachel Riley are taking up this uniquely twisted challenge. It's a nice case. Spend £10,000 in Greece, the birthplace of civilization, in just 24 hours. Oh, oh! Yes. I've got oh, it! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, get the 50! Come on, Joe! Got it. Got it. These good friends could have the time of their lives with all this cash if it wasn't for our strict spending rules. You may hire anyone or anything you need, but you must not pay them more than the reasonable going rate. The money right. should be sent on experiences and cannot be given away. Oh, yeah. Any spend that goes against the spirit of the challenge may be vetoed. That's bullshit. And have a um, bit of a uh, <laughs> conundrum, but we've not left them entirely on their own. The following three people uh, may be able to help you spend the money. Spiros is one of them. Spiros! Are you any good at piggybacks? I am. Um, I might just stay here. Start a fire. Thanks to that caseload of cash, their next 24 hours should pack in experiences you simply won't find in the guidebooks. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, she left me! She ran away! Rachel and Joe have flown more than 1,600 miles to the northern Greek seaside resort of Thessaloniki in the midst of the off-season. 24 hours of spending starts now, possibly. If you try and flag him down, get a lift. I think it might be better if you try. All right. I don't have your hips. I'm okay. keeping. Oh, I'll do it. There we go. That's how you stop them, man. Actually, let's, right. let's keep him going. Let's keep moving. Right, Lovely to see you. Easy. Hello. Do you speak no. any English? Yeah. Drummo. Drummo. Do you think... Back. Can we Can we get yeah, a okay. lift? A bit too keen, so if you ask me. Is that OK? Maybe... Really too keen. Take really, us into really town too keen. Like... Oh, thank He's not taking us to town. He's taking to his house. Save as well. We're thank about you. to meet his brothers. All right. Uh, this is going to be all. I'm in. I'm in. I might just see you there. <laughs> Don't want to be in his van. I don't want to be in your van. No, he's going to do something very bad. Well, not What's to you, it? he's doing it to me. That's their first spend. Um, I'll pay you £50,000 to stop. Thessaloniki. With a population of 800,000, it's Greece's second city. Named after a mermaid, home to Aristotle and Alexander the Great. Famed for its festivals and spectacular wildlife. But there's no time for sightseeing. Rachel and Joe have got to get their thinking caps on. My initial thought was to put it in an ISA. <laughs> that would be exhilarating. I actually made a list of a few other things oh, yeah. we could do. Um, learn to throw a pot. Learn to throw a pot? A Greek pot. Keep bees <laughs> and hire a hitman. If you had to spend £10,000 in 24 hours, what would you do? I would visit London. And visit shop. London. Visit <laughs> London. That's yeah, not a bad London. idea. Can we hire you to just like sit for, with us for like five minutes and tell us? Yeah? Perfect. And then we will all vote you for the mayor of the city. You can run for mayor. It's run all for mayor. Run right? for mayor. If I'll pop it down. Win, I'll pop it down. With Greece £282 billion in debt, politicians are as popular here as rabies. A comedian in a raincoat offers an obvious improvement. Would you trust this man with... Yes, the, yeah, absolutely. ...and things that bad? You're, you're obviously a, a good judge of character. <laughs> Is this how Greece got in this mess? <laughs> <laughs> We're trusting... <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's not, a, that's not a bad start. But you can't stand for mayor on an empty stomach. 
The most expensive main course is 11 euros 50. So Rachel orders enough to feed a minotaur. Thank you. I'm sure they give us a doggy bag. Oh, there's more. What have you done? Let's hope it's a hungry dog with a big family. Which is insane. Thank you. You are not leaving this table till this is eaten. The Mediterranean diet is famously healthy, unless your meal is the size of a table. What is that? Cheese. Oh. It's on the house. No, no. No, it's we, no, no, no. It's, it's uh, in in British that's culture. Very kind, it's um, quite rude, isn't it? To no, we, we can't. We can't we this can't is a British it. tradition. We cannot accept money for. Okay. Because they paid the waitress fifty-one pounds for her advice, all the food's free. Did nobody warn them about Greeks bearing gifts? That was a cracking start, but thank you. So far, so bad. Better call their first local contact, Alex. Hi, is that Alexandros? Uh, yes, that's me, yes. Hi, it's Rachel and Joe. First of all, welcome to Salonik, guys. Thank you. Um, can, we, can we meet you and get some advice? Alex directs them to the rear of another taverna. Hello. Hi, are you... Alexandros. I'm Alex, yeah, nice Hi, to meet you. Rachel. You might say the final rule was all Greek to Rachel and Joe. <laughs> you might not. But Alexandros is all Greek. Okay, it says that if you by any chance fail, then, then you will have a forfeit. So. Oh, and it doesn't say what doesn't the forfeit say is. It doesn't say, but I can show you. So we're going to have a very traditional dish in the Saloniki, which is called patas. And these are three different kinds of stomachs of the beef. Oh, no. I even have intestines that they come, the colon anus, and you use it to make, you know, a great soup. Did he just say colon anus? That's the belly. Good grief. Right. Um. This is a leg. Uh, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm going to play to win now. I think, yeah, absolutely. So, if they fail to spend the money, Rachel and Joe will be gobbling colon anus soup with bullock trotters. Well, you were around for the next 24 hours. I am, I am, yeah. Can you please Definitely. be our translator? Yeah, of course, uh, of course. How, how much is a uh, reasonable? 200 euros? 200 euros? 200 looks good, yeah. Is that a I'll deal with that. For a day? Is it a deal? It's a deal. And they're off, headed for the city centre in a cab. Let's hope Alex's driver can multitask. Really what do you do? Can we pay you for anything? I can't very good. I can eat. You can, you can eat. eat? Yes, I'm very good at it. How much do you reckon you can eat in 45 minutes? <laughs> How many euros? Shame he wasn't in the cafe. Not that they paid for the food there. Are you only good yes. at fortune telling? For, yes, I'm very good at fortune telling. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're nice, aren't they? Very nice hand. You? Very nice hand. Very nice hand. Yeah, cheers. Very nice hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, 20 euros. <laughs> <laughs> I think you made yourself 20 euros. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big deal. I just want to have a whole lot. <laughs> I think it's too hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. Fortunately, Rachel gets them back on track. Oh, That's can our photo taken in a tractor? <laughs> Fortune telling is 60. coming to you. Alimena. Γεια σας, τι κάνετε, Αλέξα, να σας χαρακά πολύ. Άμα σας δώσω 60 ευρώ τώρα, μπορείτε να τους βάλετε αυτούς να καθίσουν πίσω και να κάνετε μια βόλη το τράγωνο. Θα σας καθίσω. Είμαστε 60 ευρώ. Είμαστε σκούλ, είμαστε σκούλ. Yeah! On the back. Hello. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Rach, can I give you a lift? Yes, please. Uh, thank you, thank you. Oh, awesome. You got it? Never been on a tractor. One, two, three. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi, the tractor. <laughs> 51 quid on a tractor ride takes their total spending to a pathetic £393. I'm sure it's leaking petrol. With 21 hours and £9,607 remaining, you don't have to be a mathematician to work out Rachel and Joe are fast booking a hot date with a bowl of colon anus soup. Countdown presenter Rachel Riley and comedian Joe Wilkinson are on a 24-hour adventure, racing to put £10,000 into the Greek economy by having unusual experiences. They have three local contacts to help, and they've hired their first one, Alex, as their translator. 
With 21 hours left and a colossal £9,607 still to spend, the waitress's advice is starting to strike a chord. And then we will onboard you for the mayor of the city. You can run for mayor. It's run for mayor. Cut, run for mayor. Uh, well, there was one thing we were thinking, wasn't there? Yeah. But I don't know how practical it is. We'd like to run for mayor. Hmm. That's a crazy idea. It's the home of democracy, Greece, isn't it? So we thought the only way we could, we think, we'd be able to help mm. is by running, well, joint, joint mayor. Joint mayor? Like, yeah, joint mayor. Mayor and mayoress. Mayor and mayoress. Um, Coalition government. Yeah, exactly, because it's worked so well at home. We need a big push, so would you consider being our campaign manager? Well, I could try. Well, we need a photo shoot, won't we, at some point? But well, we're going to have to, we're going to need advertising, uh, we're going to need yeah. posters. Billboard. What would you change in the town? Uh, I'd have yeah, more yes. festivals. <laughs> that might be the basis of the campaign. More, veg more, more vegetables. More vegetables. <laughs> <is good. laughs> I don't know, <laughs> maybe well, more, more the veggie fest festivals, the veggie that's what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah more, more veg and more festivals, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, Joe and Rachel will be standing jointly for mayor, and their entire campaign is to be based on Rachel mispronouncing the word festival as vegetable. One, two, three, guys. Time for a photo opportunity. There's a political pea and a festive tomato. And in less than half an hour, Alex is back from the printers. Ta da! That <laughs> is perfect. Yes, perfect. Yeah. It's just us as vegetables <laughs> and yeah. it's got a slogan. So they're going to go all over the city. All over the city. Have they really thought this through? Well, obviously not. But the last mayor of Thessaloniki, an Olympic sprinter called Vasilis, was sentenced to life imprisonment for running off with £15 million. At least our two big spenders don't want to make a profit. Today is Thessaloniki's Carnival, Fat Thursday. A time for odd costumes and the last chance to eat meat before Lent. Maybe their second local contact can offer more spending opportunities to get their teeth into. Do you speak? I'm okay. really good. I don't speak Greek. Okay. Hi, is that Vicky? Hi. Hi, Hello. it's Rachel and Joe. Hello. We're a bit, we've run out of ideas of that. Yeah. And we were wondering if we could uh, meet you and... Uh, Are you free now? Uh, I have a class, exactly. Uh, now. You have a class? Do you want to come to my class? Well, oh, well, all right, thank we'll you. Um, thank where, you. So we're, I'm waiting for you in 20 minutes, OK? OK. OK, lovely. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Class. Pottery, I guess. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. This is a special announcement. Vicky and her pupils are already in their Fat Thursday Carnival costumes. Come inside, please. <laughs> you can do it, it's very easy. Yes. Joe and his raincoat remain inseparable. Great. Thank you. Yeah, that was so much Love fun. <laughs> Can you move to England? We've decided to run for mayor. Yeah. A joint yeah. mayor and mayoress of. Yeah, we're going to try and uh, take over the town as yeah. mayor and okay. mayoress. So. So, is there anything you can yes. do? Yes, flash mob. Do you know what it is? No. No. Uh, when you everyone know? kind of gets together. Yes. One starts dancing, and after two, three. Oh, so you can ten, dance as well. Twenty, maybe. <laughs> Would, you, would they be prepared, prepared to dance holding broccoli? Broccoli? Broccoli wow. or we cauliflower. Can, I mean, we can get hold of the vegetables. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, 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 we'll sort out. Yeah, but they wouldn't mind holding. Can you so hold it while you're dancing? It's yeah, like a little maracas. bit difficult, but we oh, can really? try, I think. <laughs> Maybe dress like ancient Greek and hold. Oh, I'd love that. Holding, mm -hmm. holding veg dressed as Greek gods. Dancing. Yes. Nailed we can, it. We can do it. So, obviously, the next logical step in their mayoral campaign is to buy some vegetables for the Greek god Flash Mob to dance with. What's the most expensive vegetable? Uh, ginger. Ginger? Just Whoa. 
What else is expensive? I quite like the whole colours and the array and everything. And we're going to be dancing with stuff, we're going to need props, we're going to need stuff to hand out for people. Are you saying everything? So how much for just everything? <laughs> About uh, one and a half thousand. Oh dear, that's 300 euros over their single item spending limit. What could you give us for 1,200? Could we get all of this side? For 1,200? Yes. Is that... Can we do a deal? Yeah, Brilliant. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Sprouts. Catch. Jesus. Cabbage. Right. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. We owe you more money. Result. 1,200. And I think the light is probably extra. Yeah, we owe you for the light. For the light. For the light. Sorry about that. Bye. Thank you. They've now lumbered themselves with several hundred vegetables, and they'll have to make use of every last sprout. Hey, Vicky. The first of nine barrow loads goes to Vicky's Greek god Flashmon. The, uh, plan is to have the Greek gods endorse vegetables with a festive dance, promoting the campaign slogan, More vegetables, more festivals. I think it's working. The crowd is gathering. Ten euros each. Do you <laughs> <and fish? laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. While the rest of the Greek gods give out promotional vegetables, Vicky tells them about her potentially useful friend. She's a radio producer. Here, oh really? Here radio producer. Radio, radio. Radio, radio, oh, radio yes. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Maria. Hello. Oh. Maria works in pirate radio. <laughs> oh, no. pirate. Could we pay you to come on your show and promote a? Uh, Ridiculous. It's a fantastic idea, I guess. Oh, yeah. We can uh, yeah? we can let people know what about it. Yeah, 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 but we'll pay you. Yeah. We'll pay you. Perfect. Okay. Oh, great. Good afternoon. It's a very beautiful day for us here to have you. Thank you for having me. How did you come up with the idea of becoming the mayor of Thessaloniki? You might have to answer that one. Um, well, it was we we went to a local taverna and we ordered some food and we got we've just been chatting to the locals and we love it here so much. Mm -hmm. um, and she just liked the look of you, really, didn't she? Jo? Yeah, she suggested that I run as mayor, but then I wasn't confident enough to do it on my own, was I? So, well, we're kind of so going we're for doing, joint mayor joint, and mayorship. Joint mayor and mayor. Please tell us, if you get to be elected by the civilians, are you ready to leave your country behind and stay here for the next four years? Yes, Absolutely. definitely. Yeah. I think you're the next mayor. And Thank you. And it's an uh, honour for us. Thank you Support very, very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Thanks very much. Vote Rachel and Joe. Just see that in at the end. Arranging an interview on Thessaloniki's pirate radio station cost a timber shivering £293, bringing their total spend to a respectable 3,350 quid. Sadly, Rachel and Joe have still got eight barrow loads of vegetables to collect and use. They can't own anything when the 24 hours are up. Not a sausage. Not even a cabbage. I mean, we could, we could try and get some uh, stall, stall, like, you know, like the things you put your head through and pay... Oh, stocks. Like, get people to... We could pay people to throw stuff at us, but we've got things like cabbages. Yeah, they're rock solid, though. They're fresh. <laughs> Not, Not really. So they're soft. Um, hang on. I'm just going to... Let's just have a Google. That's on the key vegetables. There's apparently the world's champion of cocktail making actually lives here. Is he? Well, then... We could yeah, but we've we could got take veg. Some... We've got well, veg. Yeah, well, if he's world champion, he must be able to make something for us. For the campaign After. and the festival later, we can... Maybe shift it. Get people to drink it. Yep. Pay them to drink it. I think we've got an idea. It's better than stocks. <laughs> Hello. Is this your puppy? Yes. This is the most gorgeous puppy in the world. It's, it's Labrador. Hello. How old is it? Uh, about three, <gasps> three months old. So cute. And more importantly, does he eat vegetables? Nom, nom, nom. Shall I bring them up to the bar? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I've Googled you. Yeah. And you are world champion cocktail maker, is that true? Yes. 
In 2009, Tellis won his world bartender title at a three-day mixology contest in London. These are some of the only trophies in Greece not to have been melted down. We were wondering if you could come up with some cocktails so, involving some vegetables. No problem. Oh, that right. would well, be brilliant. No well, uh, got, actually, um, actually, I can do it for you for free. No, no, no. No, no, you're world champion. We, no, we, no, need, no, to world champion. we need to we pay you. We need to pay you. Broccoli. Oh, is that A bit rum? of sugar. Oh, sugar. Sure. sugar. The good stuff is tequila. It's going to be quite strong. Yes. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, nice little rim machine. That's a hell of a colour. Naughty spinach. OK, OK. This is the, the ultimate test. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh. oh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, my God, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's so Sorry to sound surprised. I've, I've tried a lot of cocktails, and I've never tried anything like that. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Creating the cocktail costs £242. It takes two hours to convert the remaining seven wheelbarrows of veg into cocktails and costs £733. And that's more numbers than you get on Countdown. While Tellis liquidises an entire vegetable stall, Rachel and Joe pay to promote their mayoral campaign on local television. We want to add another festival all about veg. Τέλεια. Θέλω να προσθέσουμε μαζί με το κρέας και λαχανικά. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Vote for us. And thanks the whole town. Yeah, vote, vote. I don't know what that means. Είμαστε εδώ στη Θεσσαλονίκη, Τελικατέσεν, BBC και γεια σας. Countdown Queen Rachel Riley and comedian Joe Wilkinson are in Greece. They've been challenged to spend £10,000 in 24 hours under our strict rules. They must have as many offbeat adventures as possible, they can't own anything at the end, and they can spend a maximum of £1,000 per experience. Ta -da! 14 hours remain, 9 in total darkness, and they have just over half the money left to spend. They're standing for mayor and they've asked translator Alexandros to hire the biggest campaign bus he can find in Thessaloniki. That, that's incredible. I think this is pretty much guaranteeing really the mayorship. The six-ton bus cost £820, leaving 180 quid for a second campaign vehicle. Check this out. It's a pickup truck. That's a really dirty pickup truck. The latest word of technology for yeah. a political campaign. Yeah. I'm more worried about the, the broken glass. Ladies and gentlemen, many of the many of us of Thessaloniki, ladies and gentlemen, more for them, more festivals, more festivals. As the campaign gains momentum, dark descends on the off-season city. The centre fills with fat Thursday carnival goers, all potential drinkers of Rachel and Joe's liquidised vegetable store. Cheers. Cheers, Alex. You Cheers, don't guys. drink, do you? Thank you you don't well. drink. Oh, I'm okay. I'm oh, wow. Sure. Yeah. What's it like the second time? It's, it's, it's nice. something-y. It's different. You can really taste the leek. Yeah, the leeks come through, <laughs> isn't it? It really does. I can't feel the right side of my face. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to get rid of this now. <laughs> we need to get yeah. Yeah. people well, on the bus yeah, to spread the word. Guys, I'm afraid I have some bad news. I spoke with the driver whether we can go. This is a big festival for the Saloniki. There are a lot of people going out. It's really impossible for a bus that big to enter the oh. inside. Where can I we mean, go? There's we need to just... Well, just... Just we need a place for the people, basically. And... Park up and just brown people up. Thank you. Um. Did, uh, yeah. The nearest car park to the carnival isn't exactly rammed. I, I don't think anyone's coming. Yeah, I think the bus might have been a bad idea. Their other campaign vehicle is allowed into the carnival if it doesn't break down on the way. Rachel, Jono, patates, agurgia, lemonia, 
We're gonna have more festivals and we're gonna eat more vegetables. Cucumbers! Onions! Alright mate, that'll do. Thanks. Yeah, that'll do. Ditching their campaign looks like a shrewd move, especially as the current mayor, Yanis Boutaris, a recovering alcoholic and professional winemaker, isn't up for re-election for another two years. OK, so Rachel and Joe aren't politicians, but that doesn't mean they can't take advantage of the locals. Can the city's carnival goers be persuaded to drink all seven litres of the liquidised vegetable store? I mean, it's pretty disgusting. Maybe we oh. could make people taste it and guess what's in it. Yeah. I don't trust it. No, it's not bad, honestly. <laughs> I'll put it there. It's awful. It's awful, yeah. <laughs> yeah but... We'll give you 10 euros per ingredient. Yeah. Spanish? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Broccoli. Oh, Broccoli. Near enough. Can I get me, though? No, no. Tomato. Vinegar. No vinegar, but vinegar. it tastes like it. <laughs> Another 10 euros if you drink it now. Oh, how many minutes? Yeah, there. <laughs> Paying people to guess the ingredients of the off-colour cocktail takes care of £402. The freestyling's kind of working. Yeah, the less we plan... There's enough the... going on in this It feels like place. the less we plan, the better we do. Yeah, absolutely. So you plan less. So we... You just see what happens. I like it. Do you speak English? Yeah, I do. Would you be able to hold our suitcase for a photo for, for, for 20, euros? Sure, 20 euros? Yeah. Ready? Do you want me to smile? <laughs> oh, you can do what you like. 20. No? no? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Will you have a photo taken with me if we pay you 20 euros? What? Joe and Rachel pay 58 revellers to pose with the case, providing an amazing set of holiday snaps in one mad dash. This is fun! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> this is fun! She left me! She ran away! It's 2 a.m. And the carnival's still buzzing. Alas, Rachel and Joe are not. I'm... I'm really tired. Oh, yeah? Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, um, you don't have to do any more, Can we please go we? to bed? Yeah. Not together, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> this one looks expensive. Yeah. The carnival coincides with a gynaecology conference, putting hotel rooms in short supply. I'm just wondering if you have any spare rooms at all. Okay, due to the conference, we've got just two last rooms available. Okay. okay Would right. you like to have a look? Yes. Um, Off to you. All the rooms in the Andromeda Hotel have novelty themes. Whoa! Oh my word, okay. Joe, this is, <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Rachel gets a spa themed room. <gasps> There's a sauna! Why has he got his... Oh, it's wet. Oh! It's a wet room. <laughs> well, the last person had a widow. <laughs> OK. And for Joe... <laughs> Joe, you love dancing. Oh. A room that celebrates pole dancing. Hold on, that's going to have to come down. One of Thessaloniki's most popular competitive sports, enjoyed equally by men and women. <laughs> It's oh, got a God. round bed with a massive mirror. Wow. It's not good at all. I'll be honest with you, I might sleep in the alleyway. Oh, it's solid. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Things to do with a pole. Well, we don't want to see the results of it. Actually, you know what I have found? There's a lady in Thessaloniki. That gives pole dancing lessons. Good for her. Have you ever done pole dancing? Yeah, yeah of course I have. It's how how semi professional. Semi pro. <laughs> you do pole dancing lessons. Yes. You do. Oh, um, I thought you had a wrong number. Are you available tonight at all? Uh, no, because uh, we have a party tonight. You've got a party. Uh, we have a three years um, uh, birthday today. Oh, what a show! Three-year-old's birthday party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Don't worry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the children's Bye. party. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, dear. Undeterred, Rachel continues her 3 a.m. mission to inflict a pole dancing lesson on Joe. Maya? Hello? Hello? Hi, do you speak English? Yeah. Hi, I found your number online. I was just wondering, are you um, a pole dancing teacher? Yes. You are? Yes, sir. Um, are you available tonight at all? Uh, at wh uh, what time? Whenever you can come round, as soon as possible. Um, let's say... Unless you've got a kids' uh, party, of course. Half an hour? That would, that would be absolutely brilliant. I've got a friend. Um, he's semi-pro, okay. but he's not done it for a while, so I think he's probably going to be a bit rusty. Uh-huh. Well, we love the rooms. Um, we've actually got a guest coming in a little while, so if she arrives, can you just send her up to Joe's room? Sorry? If, um... It sounds she, really bad. When Joe's guests really arrive, if you could just send her up to his room, that would be brilliant. Could I ask us one thing? Could I ring your bell for five euros? This one for five euros? No. It's more expensive. Twenty euros to have a good ring on your bell. No, I'm sorry. Really? How much does it cost? Twenty-five euros to ring Everything your bell. Everything here is uh, vintage from the... Just to ring it, not just, to take just it. Just to, just ring, to it. ring it. Just to ring it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you oh, no, no. Oh, well, you've barkened me up. <laughs> okay, so no, now. You've five accidentally. Okay. Yeah, 25 years. You, you okay. ran a, you've done a really you good bargaining. <laughs> uh, we want to go home. We want to go home. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Are you Mrs. Pole? Yeah. Hi. Alida is the city's current pole dancing Hello. champion. Hi, hi. I, I like your headdress. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Excellent. No. Is it for the festival or is this not? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Uh, thank, <laughs> you, thank you. You need to put off your coat. Uh, yeah. Really? <laughs> Just a walk I'm around walk the floor. Around. Yeah. I'm a little dainty horse. That's a nice pole. Look at that starling. That's it. That's a nice okay, pole. Look at that starling. Oh, not to pie off the table. Jelly hit the floor. Thanks. A lot about the hips, yeah. Oh, head back, Christ. Oh. That's, that was going to come down. I was right, that's why I stopped. Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, that's. That was sexy, Joe. I think we should get a little bit of sleep at least. Mm. And crack on in the morning. We are ready for the massage. Oh, lovely. Maybe you can follow me. OK, thank you. Are See you in a bit. Okay, the sec. You, you can come in and be jealous if you want in a bit. So this way. Champagne and strawberries are a modest £56. So Rachel spends a little more by booking herself a massage. Oh. If I pay you a little bit more, could it be more aggressive? Like harder? If you like to, yeah, yeah. So, to box. <laughs> so it's like as quick as possible and, and as, very hard and, and very hard for two hundred okay. euros. I'm gonna ask her if she can. Yeah. And I'm gonna. Brilliant. Perform. Thanks. Okay, thank thank you. you. Hard as possible, please. She wants to use. She wants to head back. That's fine. Down Queen Rachel Riley and comedian Joe Wilkinson have three hours left to spend £1,248. If they fail, they will face a grim forfeit, a double helping of colon anus soup and bullock trotters. After last night's carnival, Thessaloniki is now as bustling as your average mausoleum. I think the whole town is pretty hungover today. Yeah. No one's going to be up for much, are they? No. Contact number three. Come on, Spiros, come through for us. Hello, Spiros, you weirdo. I like your name, though. Hi, is that Spiros? Hello, Spiros. We don't really know what to do. I know I'm village, about an hour away from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they are having a celebration of some sort. Do you mind if we uh, tag along, then? Oh, sure, 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 no problem. 
Oh, okay. Brilliant. Okay. With no time to return to the city, the rest of their spending will have to be done in the village. Welcome to Negrita. Negrita. This is our church, right oh, there. lovely. This is our nice stadium. Your stadium? What stadium? Yes. It's a kind of an arena, wrestling arena. I'll explain a, a, to you. A kind of wrestling arena. Let me, let me tell you what's going on here today. Wrestlers do battle in the village arena every year to celebrate Negrita's independence from Turkey. What is that stuff they're rubbing? Oh, oh hello. OK. The wrestlers cover each other in oil to make grappling as slippery as possible. Joe, surely you can pay to have a go at that. No way. Come on, man, you've got to try this. Do you have any spare trousers? Oh. Yes. Yeah? Oh, yeah. oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> For some reason, Joe's not keen to get oiled up, but Rachel is. Well, can I have a lesson? Do for the ladies? Do you have any in my size? Apparently, because of the tradition of the game. Ah, not allowed. You're not allowed. So, with well under an hour to go and well over a thousand pounds to spend, it looks like they're going to fail the challenge and suffer the forfeit. Bullock trotters and colon anus soup. Unless. I think you can take them. Yeah, OK. You ready? No, not really. If Joe does go through with the bout, he'll be spending over £900, giving them hope of reaching their target. But first, he must overcome his fear of the pants of doom. We are about to go behind the scenes as Joe Wilkinson will be making his debut as a Greco-Roman wrestler. Uh, he's not too keen on wearing the outfits. Um, he's going to have to wear some kind of leather chaps. Um, there's a lot of oil in that changing room. There are no... Yeah, no naked men to report. Um, I think we're going to be able to go behind the scenes now. It's a huge ask, but less than 40 minutes are left and there are no other big spends available in the village. Will Joe take one for the team? Uh, and I can announce now that Joe is coming out in the lubed up trousers for his debut. So we've definitely got some, some grappling here. Uh, oh, he's going for the knee, he's going for the knee, he's going for the classic, he's, on, he's got him on one leg, he's got him on one leg. Go on, Joe! Oh, he's going for the, he's blinding him, he's taking his top off. Okay, now we've got a, now we've got a real fight in our hands. Oh, he's gone for the charge. Joe is definitely winning from enthusiasm alone, but Pierce has just taken himself out. Oh, he's got him in the oh the vertical wheelbarrow, and oh, the right hand is in a very interesting place. Somewhere, I presume Joe's never had a male hand before. Uh, no, he's given up. He's got him on on his front, flat out. Joe's done it. He's had the bottle to complete a professional Greek wrestling bout. Well on Joe! His brave adventures in the ring cost nine hundred and eighty-three pounds. A big spend. But they're in the middle of nowhere with £149 to get through in just 14 minutes. Fail, and it's colon anus super clock. Stop, Ligo, stop, Ligo, stop, Ligo. La janica, que fruta. How much for all of your oranges? 20? OK. Yeah, cool. brilliant. Nice spend, but they can't keep them. Can we rent a juicer off someone? Brilliant. We could pay someone to juice them. Looks like a hardware store. Well, they might have some tools that we could use so we could saw the oranges open. <laughs> Paying the DIY store owner to chainsaw and juice all the oranges costs £33.50. pence. But there's no time to watch him finish the job. They've got another £98.74 pence to spend in eight minutes. We should get our photo taken on the duck. Fifty euros? Take some photos? For, for ten, ten minutes. Fifty euros? 
Θα τους... Εδώ θέλω μια φωτή, θα σου δώσω εγώ την φωτογράφη. Θα κάνεις ένα κουράκι να φύγει. Will the tractor driver agree to a photo shoot in the children's playground? No, not even for 42 pounds. Unbelievable. 50 euros for one click. Back in the hardware store, there are no more oranges, but plenty of orange juice. Big problem. They can't own anything. We can't give it away. We're going to have to make yeah. people do things for the juice. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we have to. So. Oh, man, look at that. It looks the same. Oh, damn. Well, Joe, yeah. you are allowed to drink it. So if I drink all of them, then we're safe. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah. 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 Rachel claims she is allergic to orange juice, so success or failure in the 24-hour challenge may rest entirely on the size of Joe's bladder. Oh, you're good! I need the toilet. Can I have 10 euros? Thank you. Thank you. Five minutes to go, and the playground photo shoot is their only hope. 50 euros. Deal! 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 We need some more people for this. Yeah. Ask the man. He's not God's gift to photography, so the only way to up the spend is to hire more models. But like, how much that do you think? Photography well. mono. Losing confidence. Yeah. 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 Okay, we got 20. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Excellent. This is really creepy, yeah. but let's go. We've got a whole family. Okay. 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 The Just two minutes and 15 seconds remain. What began as a noble campaign to become mayor ends in a playground with Thessaloniki's worst photographer. One, two, three, big smile, big smile. Yay! Yay! We got it again! That's it! All £10,000 spent within the 24 hours and only memories to show for it. Good job, guys. Yeah, yeah really, really photogenic really people, yeah. They've mounted tractors, Hello. hired Greek gods to Zumba with broccoli, and turned an entire vegetable stall into a giant cocktail. They've run for mayor, learned to pole dance, and grappled with greasy wrestlers. But most importantly of all, they've spent every penny, dodged the forfeit, and earned their reward. The mayor's special. I can't believe we didn't actually make mayorship. Yeah. Who'd have thought it? I certainly do that. Seemed, um, yeah, seemed like a sure bet. Yeah. I had a pole dance. Oh, yeah. You think you're going to keep it up? Yeah, definitely. Well, <laughs> I was surprised how um, how keen they weren't to, they were to not take our money. I know. It made it a lot harder. That's the thing, but they were so hospitable. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be less miserable for about 45 minutes. <laughs> when I get off the plane, I'll have 45 minutes, then I'll slip Sally back into being... British. British again. Okay. Until then. Job well done. To Greece. Lovely yeah, country. Yeah, to Greece. What a lovely country.